Hi guys, today's video is all about these two simple Halloween tutorials that's so easily achievable with all the dramatic, so difficult Halloween makeup tutorials out there. I thought I'd show you two simple looks. One is a cobweb look, a mermaid cobweb inspired look and another one is a masquerade mask. So you guys have seen me do my complete face makeup with the liquid foundation and concealer. So I decided just to skip all the steps and get into the eye makeup. So before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's do the eye makeup right now. I have taken the Too Faced Cat Eye Palette in a bronze eyeshadow and I've swiped that all across my eyelids. And that's my transition color before I put the NYX blue eyeshadow all over. I just pat that over my eyelids and I'm just blending that down so that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking the Kick-Ass uh, Soap and Glory uh, yellow powder and I'm just dusting that you know under my eyes so that I can take away any fallout from the blue eyeshadow as well as it brightens my under eyes and I'm just smudging that same blue eyeshadow on my waterline and I am extending it into a feline flick kind of a shape the leftover eyeshadow that is left on the smudger brush now I'm applying the Charlotte Tilbury bedroom black eye pencil on my waterline and I'm smudging that out just to give it a little more of a smoky effect. Once I'm happy with the look and I've cleaned out the under eyes, I apply my liquid liner. I'm just doing the feline flick. I have a whole video on this. You can click the link on above my head or in the description bar. And now I'm just doing my eyebrows. You guys have seen me, like I've said, done this a ton of times. So I'm skipping the process of explaining it. And now I'm applying my mascara. I'm applying lashings and lashings and coats of mascara. Because I'm do, you know, not wearing a false lash over here for this look. Now I'm going to start tracing the lines and I'm taking the NYX Super Skinny Eye Pencil and I'm just tracing it. From top of my eyebrows, I'm just drawing some curvy lines. And the reason I'm uh, you know, using an eye pencil first is because if there's any mistake, you can, it's easy, you can easily take it off. Then a liquid liner. And I'm extending it all the way to my eyelids. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just drawing curvy lines. And now I'm connecting those lines with, you know, small little uh, lines in between those curvy lines just to give that a cobweb effect. I was thinking fishtail, fishtail, fishtail for some strange reason. But this is just to give you a cobweb effect and I'm extending that all the way to my eyelids. And from my waterline, I'm extending those lines at the same time all the way to the midsection of my cheeks. You're extending the cobwebs, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, it is completely up to you. Once I'm happy with the outline, I'm just going to add those uh, lines in between, those curvy lines, just to give it more of a cobweb effect. And now you can draw whatever you want. I'm just drawing little bugs and you can draw a spider, whatever that suits you. And now I am just darkening those lines with my felt tip, you know, eyeliner pen and then over that a liquid liner just to darken it. Once I'm happy with that, it's time to make those lines pop and you can only achieve that by shading it. I've taken a black eyeshadow from the same Too Faced palette and I'm shading it just to give it a little more dimension and definition. And whatever is left in my smudger brush, I am just extending it extending those lines and in between those curvy lines wherever I see my skin I'm just filling it up with the black eyeshadow just to give that a little gradation once I'm happy with the look I take a shimmery silver grayish color from the Too Faced and I am going over the lines just like I did with the black eyeshadow and I'm filling it up wherever I can see my skin and the gradiated black eyeshadow and I do this back and forth I take the eye pencil I define those lines once again then I shade it once again and I have done this a lot of times till I'm really happy with the entire look it doesn't have to be too neat just have fun with the makeup guys now I'm dotting it all the way to my hairline 
just to give that little bit of a mermaid effect and I've added sequins. You can add any sequins. I've added clear sequences of red, clear and black just to give it a more of a glamorous look. Now I'm outlining my lips with the same black eye liner pen and in the middle of my lips I am adding Rich Blood from Jeffree Cosmetics just to give that self a, myself a dark lip and because I wanted it to match you know the shading area of my cobwebs I decided to put the same shimmery uh, silver eyeshadow on the center of my lips and that guys is as simple as that look number one is achieved and I love it it gives a very mermaid cobweb kind of feel now for look number two I've done my basic makeup as you can see contour highlight everything is done my smoky eyes which this tutorial will be up next week this is my beginners makeup for smoky eyes now I'm just adding a little more highlight so that you know the areas just pops and I do the same thing I start um, you know getting the shape first with the NYX skinny pencil and I just do a rough drawing basically to get the outline done from the center of my face even on the center of my forehead I just trace an outline very gently with light hands just to get that defined shape don't forget to trace around the eyes to give you a mask like effect it almost gives you one of those catwoman kind of feel take your time go slowly there's nothing you don't have to rush this process you need to take your time when you're tracing the entire thing and now I'm just connecting those lines all the way to my hairline to give that whole mask masquerade kind of feel now I took my eyeliner pen and made the lines a bit more darker and I kept going back and forth with the super skinny eye pencil and the eyeliner pen and liquid liner to get the right kind of effect I also put a design on the center and you can create whatever design you desire guys you can look at different masquerade mask online and do whatever suits you now I add I decided to give the lines a little more texture by shading it with a black eyeshadow so you just pat on every single line that you just drew shading it just you know makes that those lines pop a little more and with my blending brush very gently I am shading it again and now I'm darkening the outline with the eye pencil and felt tip and shade it again with the eyeshadow shading makes it pop and you keep doing this process till you are satisfied with the defined lines and the gradation time to texture the mask with some cross lines which will give you that you know that lace kind of effect you don't have to be too neat with your crisscross lines as long as it looks soft and gives you a mesh material like effect You just add those small little lines don't forget to do it over your under your eyebrows over your eyebrows like I, like you can see I'm doing it very gently on the bridge of my nose side of my nose crisscross lines now retrace the lines to darken it again and put your design to it you know I decided to add some swirly circles darken it a little more and make it a little more fancy so that it looks like a masquerade mask after tracing it and shading it I just decided to add some sequins and like I've told you before have fun with the mask guys it doesn't have to be perfect because there's a lot going on in there no one's going to notice any mistakes that you do and after I have done my swirly lines and I've shaded it and given it a little more of a real effect I added the crystal stones in black clear and red just like I did for the first uh, look that I showed you and now to finish the look I added the Sephora cream lip stain 01 the blue tone red and outlined the lips with a black eyeliner pencil just to give it a dark lip effect and that guys is the second look done I really hope you liked both the looks and if you liked what you see don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see next and until later love you take care bye for now